freaking hot. Anyway, hi Seashur, welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty sure many of you should have known by now that I am currently staying at another place. A couple months back, around April, I was still staying at my studio apartment but the one year contract has already ended. Then two years ago, I was also staying at somewhere else. It's a lender and it's also a one year contract. So now I'm currently staying at my sister's house and it is also temporary. I'm not sure how long am I gonna stay here but I'm still gonna show you guys a house tour because many of you have already requested this video for a while and I honestly hesitated. Well, okay, may may go. <laughs> So this is the hallway area and behind me is a lift that you can have direct access to the house and there's also a public door over here. These two cabinets beside me is a shoe cabinet. Ta-da! Okay, so over here, this side is my niece's shoe. And this side are my sister's and her husband's shoe. Then if I close it, it is actually a mirror here. I actually like this mirror because it's so freaking big. And this is where I normally take my OOTD pictures. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Over here, we also have this very nice Chinese oriental blue wallpaper with a blue oceanic painting. I don't know, I can't relate to paints, but well, it, it kind of looks very nice overall. I love how the lights actually shine out from the below here. And then on top, there's also that light shining towards the painting. So this is what you will see when you enter the house and right over here we have a dining area. The whole entire table is really long and there's some mini decoration here. So they have like different lightings. There's one here and for a dimmer light will be this one here. Yay! It's really nice. Behind the dining table, there's this mini comfy area I guess. Well, we just put nonsense here normally but I like this cushion. It looks very bougie because it's gold color. And right out here is the window and there's also another painting here. There's like literally many paintings around the house. Directly beside the dining table, there's this dry kitchen here. Well, it's technically just an open area basin and some other built-in stuff like this coffee machine and wine chiller. Let's take a look. So there are different wine collections here and some, I don't know, some other stuff which is very cool Then there is these real hands and a sterilized machine by the way, the wall is also made of marble oh, I love this, I love marbles then right below the basins are just areas where you put the cutleries so this is the kitchen there is indeed a lot of cabinets to put all the goods and also a fridge in between for refrigerated items this kitchen is an L shape so it's quite narrow but it is long there are also a couple of machines that is built in which is the oven and the microwave this small little corner here is the maid room as well as the toilet and the ceiling there is the electric dryer where you can hang your clothes and dry over there without bothering about the weather because you won't be affected which is very convenient. This area, it is the living room. It's not very big but still quite cozy. I like to chill around this corner whenever I just want to relax and watch some shows. The TV is also very big so it feels like I'm in a cinema and yeah. 
this part of the living room is not supposed to be designed like that if i'm not wrong there's a change in the curtains it was originally a plain ugly looking blinds but now they change it to uh, automatic movable curtains instead the floor mat wait do you call this a mat or it's a freaking carpet anyway so the mat was not supposed to be this design it's something different but it's beige in color we change it out to a different mat so at this very corner there's some baby photos over here and a lot a lot of drawers all the way to that side along this hallway there is a total of four rooms this is the baby room this place looks super cozy you can see here there's this um safety um i don't know what you call this barrier sponge and stuff it's a soft uh, material so that if the baby run around she will knock onto it and injure herself the wallpaper is also in pink to suit madeline's gender so walking into my sister's bedroom is gonna be a quick one there's this very beautiful floor mat and i love this area it's so freaking fluffy hi welcome to the flurry mat <laughs> i need to stop being stupid at my sister's bedroom you can see the balcony directly outside okay too low mm. Let me go down again. Hi, I'm sitting at the staircase in the guest room. Um, this is originally a normal plain bedroom, but it has been modified to a loft room instead. So there is staircase up to a bed. It's supposed to be for guests, but there isn't any guests sleeping here. So the bed is still fresh. There's this very cool staircase handle that is designed like a Chinese oriental style and a painting that match with this entire Concepts. There's also this wallpaper, like what is that design? Floral birdie design. It's actually really nice. Right below the sleeping corner, there is an office table and a playing corner. Normally, my niece will be the one using this room and have all the fun in this room. So I will accompany her as and when I feel I am free. So yeah, I can become a kid occasionally. So right over here, it is just a normal mirror just to make the room look a bit big up they say it is an illusion to make the room look bigger and right behind this mirror here it is a small store room to store some unnecessary stuff and they also have these very cool shelvings to put all the decos So this room here look pretty spacious. Some of you might have known, some may not, but this is where I normally sleep. Nothing much, but just like how spacious it is and just very comfortable. I can be productive here, I can don't be, but it really depends on my mood. This small platform area is where I do my stuff. As for this place here, it's my wardrobe. I don't have a lot of clothes that I bring along. It's just a few here and there. It's designed in an L shape. It's really very artistic. This whole entire wardrobe is actually very, very tall. It's all the way up. As for this place, it is my toilet. I'm pretty sure some of you have seen this place before because I probably filmed once or twice here in my toilet. I love this toilet. It's very clean. Okay, so directly outside my room here, there's these very beautiful shelves where my sister normally display her bag here but because of some shit situation it turns out that you can't place any bags otherwise there will be moles there are still some accessories in this drawer here um this is what the earrings and stuff and this is necklace this is technically where you have all the luxurious stuff This small little corner here is the public toilet. The baby normally shower here as well. <sighs> I can't stress more about how I like this stuff toilets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so for this area that you're seeing here, right? This is actually the balcony area. I mean, obviously, right? What am I trying to say? This place, you don't get the best scenery here because we are at the ground level and we are facing the pool. It's a little bit plain, so she decided to put this fish tank here. It's super big. It's also very nice for this balcony area. I only fit the fishes occasionally, but well, they have this automated feeding system at certain timing, so the fish won't be hungry. No worry about that. This area here is normally where we have um, an afternoon tea, a traditional Chinese tea session, and this is my weapon to kill the <laughs> insects outside. <laughs> Okay, I guess I pretty much cover this whole entire villa house. It is not the biggest, but it definitely have a tall ceiling and there's also a balcony. Even though it's not very big, but it is cozy and very comfy to stay in. At the end of the day, what really makes it home is the people you're staying with. Maybe a little bit of how the house is designed and by the way, I have to say I love the toilet a lot. It's very clean, very modern concept. It doesn't have to be exactly aesthetic or minimalist but it's just, yeah. I would totally just sleep inside the toilet if there is no bedroom. I'm fine with that really. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna end off here. There's nothing much want to say even though I want to say something but my mind is always blank. I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. Comment down below if there's any part of this house that you like. So do remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, follow my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!